one of the things that we heard very loud and clear was that companies are excited about using virtual reality with the prospect of using it uh, to help enable and create more immersive experiences and help with retention. But they don't know where to get started and or it's really hard to scale, especially across multiple offices. And as you likely know, the current training regimes uh, include things like paper, presentations, they're fairly boring. Um, they often happen in conference rooms outside of the day-to-day -day where the actual work is happening. You often have reading materials and modules that most of your employees are not paying attention to. Uh, I think we can all relate to that. Um, and there's also a lot of antiquated techniques. Um, we see this in education, certainly, about how some of, the, some of the teaching practices, where it's a lot of fact retention and memorization. And when we think about new industries like construction, it's, it's not, we're pulling people away from where the work is actually happening and going into a conference room uh, with the hopes that folks will come away and remember that stuff. But we know that a lot of companies are spending a ton of time and a lot of money um, and retention of this information isn't sticking, necessarily. Um, a few of the studies that we looked at, on average, um, companies are having to retrain their employees every six months to a year on key information, and that's really costly. The average company is spending around $1,000 per employee, which is really expensive. And so um, I won't bore you too much with some theory and some science, but one way to understand why these types of traditional training um, are ineffective is with a theory that a lot of cognitive scientists called um, the so-called cognitive load theory. And it says that we can think about our capability to learn like a funnel, as you see on this slide. And basically it states that the total mental energy that you have to learn something is what's left over after you've subtracted the inherent difficulty of that thing that you're trying to understand or learn. And if you add in the effort required to just understand how that concept is presented, what you're left over with is the mental energy you have left to learn, which is like pretty small. And we can't do much about that inherent difficulty of the concept. Things in the world are very complicated. A lot of what you're working on in your companies is, is challenging. Um, but we can do something about that bottom orange part to help uh, individuals retain that information that you're actually teaching. So let's take uh, the example of training to be uh, a firefighter, OK? Um, this job is the kind of thing that's high stress where you really can only learn about it when you're actually in a fire, so to speak, and you know, you know, thrown in head first. And we know that you need to be on the job responding in real time, and you know, it's, it's a bit hard to try to create that simulation. The National Training Laboratory conducted a study with firefighters, and um, they, they tried three different, which you see here, um, ways of which folks were trained and, and then the retention information. So 5% uh, retention was had in an actual lecture setting. And 10% was you know, retained through reading. But 75% was through virtual reality. And it's not really a surprise that firefighters were much more prepared um, through the simulation. What we often talk about, um, and, and you hear things like uh, people say, you know, you learn by doing, you learn by being engaged, um, and that's this concept of embodied cognition. And so it's no surprise that virtual reality, especially in high-stress jobs, um, allows you to retain the information because you visually can see the world around you. Um, so let's take a moment for a sec to understand what immersive computing is and how VR uh, plays a role within it and why this is valuable for your company. So for those of you who raised your hand earlier and maybe aren't as familiar with augmented reality AR or virtual reality VR, they are part of a broader area of technology that we call immersive computing. And this area stands for a multitude of experiences that exist on this spectrum, from augmented reality, which allows you to bring things physically to you, like what you can see here is Da Vinci's uh, helicopter that you could like put right on a, on a table, or virtual reality, which allows you to go places, um, takes you anywhere, like the Taj Mahal, for example, here, or you can imagine with training, to a construction site, if you're you know, in construction. 
And at Google, we believe that VR and AR is the next computing platform, um, and that it will be just as powerful, just as disruptive, and valuable as all the other platform waves that have preceded it. Um, this shift, we think, is going to be as powerful um, as the smartphone revolution was a decade ago. Uh, and we also think, you know, even before that, the introduction of personal computers uh, and graphic chips. We, we are really excited about where this is headed. Um, but the important thing is to remember is about like, why does uh, immersive, why is it so compelling, immersive computing so compelling? And it's that it adds vastly richer input and output for solving real human needs. And when computing was first born, it was revolutionary to be able to type into a command line and, and have the computer be responsive. Perhaps, you know, as you think about if you were writing a program that allows um, a player in a game to throw a ball, you know, you might think that you have to write different uh, command lines, but imagine if you were to able to be actually in that game and you were able to just throw the ball without having to do the command lines. It would be pretty powerful. Now, you might be wondering, how does this relate to training? But if you think about training um, as a representation of how we will act day to day in our jobs, uh, this kind of richer input and output is actually really important and really critical uh, for retention and, and for just doing our jobs better. And we know that training's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all approach. Um, there are a lot of different ways to train. There are a ton of different tools out there. But imagine if you could use the best of G Suite tools in combination with virtual reality um, to build and take your training to the next level. What would that look like? And so our vision for how G Suite and VR is driven you know, to help businesses totally transform what they're doing um, and really allowing you to leverage the applications together uh, to create these you know, compelling experiences that hopefully your employees remember. So you could actually imagine, um, you know, we, we use this uh, slide as an example, is like, you know, one, you could go in and you could run your live trainings using Google Meet, and we're going to get into how you could build the VR content to create that more immersive experience for your employees so they virtually could be anywhere. You could imagine then using Jamboard to collaborate and doing discussions and, and really making sure that that training is interactive, and then you could follow up with Google Forms for assessment. So the companies that are really pulling these things together have created a really nice integrated solution with what they're currently offering for training, and the VR is just additive on top of it. So you might be thinking, great, OK, I want to use VR, but isn't it really expensive to deploy? Um, isn't it going to take a ton of engineers to be able to do it? Uh, the answer is no. And that's thanks to a recent uh, tool that we launched called Tour Creator. Um, which Britt is now going to tell you a little bit about. Thanks so much, Jen. And as Jen just mentioned, thanks to the launch of Tor Creator, now anybody in your company has the ability to make virtual reality training modules with this tool. Uh, Tor Creator is a web application that launched a few months ago at Google I.O., and it gives anyone the power to create VR content regardless of their technical experience. Thanks to this launch, now everybody from HR managers, business owners, employees, anybody in your organization has the power to create lightly interactive VR tours that are shareable via the web. Now when you access Tour Creator, you start out by either starting a brand new tour or picking up on a draft where you left off. And you start with some basic metadata. So you'll add things like a title, a description, a cover photo. And then you'll fill your tour with scenes. Uh, scenes are made possible through the use of 360 photos. If you have your own 360 photos, which might be the case if you have proprietary training, you can easily upload them in a couple of clicks. But if you don't, have no fear. Uh, we've integrated with Street View, so you can take advantage of the massive corpus of 360-degree photos already available in Google Maps. So think about if you're creating an onboarding tour to show people how to get to your office, or if your employees have a new field work site that they have to go to and you want to create a tour of how to get there. Street View can be super important and helpful. Now, after you fill your towards scenes, you add what we call points of interest. Points of interest allow you to highlight key areas of importance in each scene. And you can add a little bit of text information to guide your employees through each step of the way. You can also add rich media, like 2D image overlays, and ambient audio, which actually makes your employees feel like they're there and hearing the sounds of the workplace. 
You can even add narration to either the scene or each of your points of interest to guide your employees through each step of the training. And when you're done creating the tour, you publish it to the web. You can either make it public for anyone to see, or you can make it unlisted so that only those with a direct link will be able to view it. So we think about a couple of examples. You might want to make a, a public tour if it's your recruiting team, and they're trying to recruit new employees with an exciting tour about your office. They would make that public and perhaps embed it in your public-facing website. But perhaps you're creating an internal training module that you only want your employees to see. In that case, you might publish it as unlisted and instead embed it in an internal training module. Now, when you publish your tours, you're actually publishing them to Poly, Google's online library of 3D content. If you're not familiar with Poly, it launched late last year as a way for anybody to upload and access 3D assets for AR and VR. And with the launch of Tour Creator, Poly is also now the home for 3D experiences in the form of tours. And this is where the true beauty of this product comes in. Because you're publishing your tour to the web, this means that all your employees need to view this is a URL. So you can send an email directly to your employees with the URL to your tour. They can click on it, view it on their desktop computer. They can load it up on their mobile device and use Magic Window to have a more immersive experience. Or they can tap an icon to enter VR. And they just stick that mobile device right in a cardboard headset and be immediately immersed in the VR tour that your company just created. Now you might be thinking, what is this magic? I thought when it came to VR, you had to have you know, complicated custom applications and really expensive hardware. Well, viewing these tours on the web is made possible through a tech called WebXR. This means that you can view and consume immersive content just using the web. And this was super important for Tour Creator because it makes it accessible to anybody with an internet connection. Now, the beauty of publishing to the web is that you can also embed these tours anywhere. When you go to Poly, you'll see a simple share button. You click on that to get a little iframe snippet, and you can embed that iframe anywhere on your internal company websites or even on your public-facing website. And when we think about embeds, we can imagine this being transformational for business in other ways as well, particularly when it comes to marketing and promotion. Is there anybody in the room that's actually involved in the real estate industry? Nobody? Well, imagine if you were, and you had to deploy agents to uh, get buyers to purchase uh, new listings. You can imagine how, instead of arming them with 2D photos of the different properties they were trying to sell, instead they could embed an actual virtual reality 360 tour of the properties for buyers to see. In fact, before we launched Tour Creator, we actually partnered with REA Group. They are the number one place for real estate in Australia. And they built an integration such that their real estate agents can actually embed a tour created with Tour Creator directly in the listings for buyers to view on both their website and their mobile app. And the best part about all of this is that Tour Creator is actually completely free to use and accessible to anybody with an internet connection. This means that anybody in your company, from your HR team to your training team, can actually go in and create a VR training tour today in under 30 minutes. No prior formal experience or technical experience required. So at this point, you might be thinking, that sounds great, but our company is actually using this tool. Well, we wanted to highlight a few examples. In building Tour Creator, we also partnered with KLM Airlines, and they've been using virtual reality to train their employees for quite a while using different techniques, including Tour Creator. What you see here is actually a tour of one of their aircraft that they use to train their flight crew. And they've recently expanded into using Tour Creator for training their food staff as well, so training them on where all the different items go in the food areas, where the coffee machine is, et cetera. And as Chris from KLM has pointed out to us, Using VR for training in their organization helps to save them tons of money on training costs, primarily because they don't have to actually fly the aircraft and the crew to all be in the same place at once. In fact, their flight crew can actually get this training from wherever they're located. And they're able to become acclimated to the aircraft before they even step foot inside. Another great example is Honeygrow. Honeygrow is a fast casual restaurant chain that serves bowls and salads. And they take a lot of pride in the ingredients that they source for their customers. And so what you see here is a tour of the actual assembly line for these salads and bowls, where they train their employees on the background of all of these ingredients. So they know this when they're serving their customers. When you think of this technology, the applications of this tech don't only have to apply to the training portion of employee development. A recent study from the US Labor Department suggests that 65% of today's school children will actually be employed in jobs that do not exist today. 
it's going to be on employers like you to be able to show these future employees how these new jobs are relatable to them. As Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And tools like Tor Creator actually allow these future employees to dream the job, to experience it in a way that they never could before, before actually committing to a particular career. And what you see here is a great example of this in action. So this is a tour of the day in the life of Victoria Neji, who is a human robot interaction design PhD student at Duke University. Tours like this one can help individuals like Victoria, who relate to her, actually feel like jobs like this, which seem super inaccessible to most, are actually accessible to them. And of course, we're seeing broad applications for this technology outside of training and employee development as well. Moynihan Group, which is a huge real estate developer in New York City, has been using Tour Creator to create VR tours as their new properties. And Time Out New York uh, has been creating tours of having the best day ever in New York City, everything from uh, Central Park to the Plaza Hotel to the New York Public Library. Now, it's one thing to hear about this from us. It's another thing to hear about it directly from the source. So we're going to cut to a, a quick video to showcase some of these examples in action. Time Out has always been about helping people explore their city, and Tour Creator helps us do just that. It's really going to help us be able to innovate more in the digital world and really create new content. We get some cool 360 photos, and we just pop them right into Tour Creator. We pull images, information, fun facts, things to do in that area, anything you could really possibly need to know. We have some really cool tours through that. We can use Tour Creator virtually see the aircraft. Uh, which means that we can train the people whenever they want and wherever they want with uh, virtual reality. And that saves quite a lot of money. Spectrum Designs is a full-service customer power business with a mission to provide purposeful working opportunities and authentic vocational experiences to individuals with autism. Tour Creator has allowed us to habituate our staff and our employees before they even come in the building, before they take one step over the threshold into our building. Tour Creator lets us show them exactly what to expect, become acclimated to the building, to the noise to the machinery. The Tour Creator tool brings everything to life. Clients feel so comfortable knowing what the spaces are going to look like by seeing it through this Tour Creator tool. It's indispensable. And with that, I'll pass it back to Jen for a brief recap before we jump into Q&A. Thanks, Bray. So to recap, um, We've talked a lot about the current training methods, about how retention of information just by reading or lecturing is maybe not the most effective, and that virtual reality could play a role within that. Um, we think VR specifically and Tour Creator you know, makes that possible, it makes that retention that much better, um, and hopefully actively engages your employees' minds and bodies uh, to, to learn the information that you're training them on um, and hopefully retaining it and saving both time and money for the company. Um, and hopefully some of the examples that Britt walked through give you a sense of inspiration of what's possible. This is just scratching the surface of a lot of the different companies that are already using Tour Creator but also virtual reality more broadly. Um, and so with that, I think the one thing I want you to walk away with is that we're just at the beginning. Um, and what we need is to be able to work with all of you. And we think of working with all of you as an extension of our team. And we don't design in a vacuum. We like to design with real users and real needs. And so um, we want to, one, encourage you to go check out um, how to build a you know, tour in Tour Creator. Um, you, we want, you can see there's a lot of other different examples of different tours um, on Poly that different companies have published. Um, but if you're interested in working with us and collaborating with us, um, both the last two bullets, so the being able to pilot with us, please sign up on that form um, if you're interested in getting access to new features and functionality um, and new tools as we develop them. And also, if you're interested in giving us your perspective, we'd love to have you participate in a UX study. Uh, both the last two uh, forms are case sensitive, so take a picture of this. Um, so that you have access to it. Please encourage anyone at your company to sign up. We would love the opportunity to have a chat with you and, and work with you. <laughs>